As the battle over health care reform in this country wages on, there at least seems to be agreement that the future of health care lies with the next generation of medical professionals. But with statistics showing an alarming decline in students gravitating toward careers in medicine, will there be enough to answer this important call? Well, a unique program seeks to excite students about the possibility of entering these ranks and joining the vanguard of the health care revolution. More now from our own Juju Chang. What you can see now is the uh, pericardium, which is the sac that the heart sits in. You don't see the heart yet, but this is a very tough sac. The confines of an operating room are uncharted, off-limits territory for most outside of the medical profession. Unless, of course, you happen to be one of the students fortunate enough to participate in a unique program that enlists kids to be part of a surgical team in what is known as the cardiac classroom. We have a gentleman today who is in his late 60s. He's got a history of heart disease that dates back several years. He's had some vascular surgery procedures before and has actually had some stents before. The program is made possible through a partnership between the Gagnon Heart Cardiovascular Institute at the Morristown Memorial Hospital in New Jersey and the Liberty Science Center in Jersey City. It's brought thousands of students through its doors over the past decade, putting the student front and center during a live heart surgery. The hope is to ignite a spark that could lead some to pursue future careers in the fields of medicine and science. We have high technology out there. We have to bring high technology into the classroom if we're going to get kids really excited about participating in careers of science. The program is the brainchild of Dr. William Tanzi, a cardiologist who, along with his colleagues, sensed a growing disconnect between how students are presented with science in the classroom. They seek instead to engage kids in hands-on lessons and to expose them to a world many have previously viewed as unattainable or worse, unknown. If we want more nurses, we want more physician assistants and nurse practitioners and physicians and specialists, we have to excite kids early on. And with that in mind, I challenged uh, Drs. John Brown and Chris McGovern, who had just come to Morristown as distinguished surgeons from New York. And I said to them informally, listen guys, welcome to this place, would you want to do something new? And they both got very excited, because both of their personalities are, we want to do something creative and bold. Charles, how are you doing on the tip? Um, right now we have a 200 degree, fire core attempt to drop down to 20. All right, let's keep giving. So we had the perfect picture, the perfect technology, and the, basically the perfect storm in terms of taking kids out of their classroom, putting them together with cardiovascular surgeons, doing open heart surgery in real time. At the end of the day, we had young kids who had made friends with a surgeon. They'd made friends with the surgeon's staff. They had, were fascinated with the magic of human biology and perhaps they were motivated either to take better care of themselves because they don't want to be in that position or to want to take care of others that wind up in that position. How do you take vein from the leg without like a lot of bleeding and like dying? <laughs> The cardiac classroom is unlike any program in the country in that students don't simply serve as a fly on the wall during the surgery, rather they're tied in as active participants of the surgical team. They interact with the surgeon and his staff throughout the entire procedure. Students are treated to the best seats in the house, observing all the action on cameras situated throughout the OR. Dr. McGovern, is it actually possible for someone to go into cardiac arrest uh, due to use of alcohol? Hmm. Like immediately? Well, not so. What, what can happen more likely is. Throughout the surgery, they're bouncing the questions and comments off the doctors and nurses, which often leads to thought provoking discussions for both students and surgeons. Does your age make a difference, difference in the surgery? Yeah, you bet. Personally, from my standpoint, what, what, what I'm most excited about with this program is the fact that we expose these children to a, to a career that they might otherwise never have thought of at a very early age. We do about one or two uh, of these cases a week, and we've been doing it for 10 years. We've exposed thousands of kids to heart surgery over the last decade. I'm lucky. I grew up in a medical family. My father is a doctor. My grandfather was a doctor. I was in the hospital as a kid. I, I spent a lot of time around doctors. I knew what it was like to be in the hospital. So I would guess that most children in this country don't have the foggiest idea about what goes on in a hospital, let alone in an open heart operating room. 
So I think we give them a unique opportunity to, to delve into what happens in a hospital and what happens particularly uh, during open heart surgery. I'd like to be a doctor, probably like a neurologist. I want to be a doctor. And what do you want to be when you grow up, Joey? A doctor. Either an actress or a cardiologist. <laughs> in measuring the success of the cardiac classroom, those involved say the proof is in the pudding. It's the enthusiasm students take away from the program, as well as the dozens of alumni who've gone on to futures in medicine and science. Doctors Tansy and McGovern see it as a vital component in the future of health care in the United States. If we're going to address modern health care in America, apart from the economics, we need to know that we're constantly backfilling the specialists that are able to apply the technology that's being developed at a breathtaking pace. And while the students who participate in the cardiac classroom walk away with this once-in-a-lifetime experience with a wealth of opportunity and knowledge, those in the operating room say they are the ones who gain the most. What we do is really pretty exciting. I've been doing this for 10, 15 years, and I get excited about what we do every single day. And from a professional standpoint, you can't imagine anything more rewarding than what we do. So I hope that we're able to convey some of our enthusiasm about what we do to these kids, and hopefully they'll get interested in medicine down the road.